morning, happy Vlogmas day 13. So today's video is going to be mostly me preparing for a fun road trip that I am going on tomorrow. And to find out where I'm going, you guys are going to have to subscribe and wait for tomorrow's Vlogmas. But before we get started with our long list of to-dos, let's go ahead and open up our day 10 of our advent calendar. Okay. Oh, okay, these are cute. These say I'm a cotton head and mini muggins, and then they're just red and green. Super fun. Okay, so what exactly is on my to-do list for today? So I am hoping to first clean up um, mostly everything's still pretty clean from when I did my clean with me, but of course there's just a few loose ends to tie up to make sure everything's back in order. And then I want to wrap um, all the presents that I've bought already for people, get those wrapped and under the tree. And then I'm hoping to pack for my trip tomorrow. And then at 4.30, um, I need to be at a job interview and so I wanted to talk about this really quick because obviously I'm not going to film the interview or anything like that but this is my first time applying and getting a job um, on my own. I think that when you are visually impaired or um, blind the unemployment rate is very very high and so um, it's been something that fortunately I haven't had to stress too much about not working and I've um, I have babysat for all through high school and made money that way and then I did when I was a sophomore through an organization that helps people who are visually impaired or blind they helped set up a summer job for me and I worked at a library for eight weeks and that was really really fun and that, you know, when I was 16 is when I did that. And so now I'm 23 and that was kind of my last like real job because since then it really has just been babysitting, childcare, things like that, which luckily have been a huge help. It's given me some extra spending money, but um, next semester in grad school, I do think that I can handle working. And so I just decided that I think now is the time to finally step out and apply for a job if I don't get the job, it's not the end of the world. I'll keep you guys updated. What I'm applying for is a is at a preschool, and so it's still working with kids, which is like what most of my experience is in anyway. I love working with kids. I think that I do a really good job working with kids. I have pretty good patience, and I just love those that age. Um, and that's a demographic. And as you guys know, I'm in grad school for mental health counseling, and. This semester kind of showed me that I might be interested in doing play therapy as a counselor and doing play therapy is working with kids and so I thought why not start working with that demographic even though it's obviously not in a counseling setting um, just to get more experience and um, also of course just to make some some money which would be great so I have that this, af this evening and I will of course keep you guys updated um, but I am kind of nervous, so we'll see how it goes. And then after that, I am actually babysitting tonight, which I really don't do anymore, but, um, the family reached out who I've, who I've known for, since I was a sophomore in high school. Um, after I finished at the library, I started babysitting, nannying for them, and have stayed really close to them ever since, which has been amazing. I'm very, very excited to see them again, because it has been probably a year or over a year since last time that I saw them. So lots going on today. Like I need to do a lot. Also 4.30 will be here pretty soon. And then I'll get home around 10ish tonight and I'm waking up very early to leave for this road trip. So stay tuned, travel vlogs to come. So please subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. Since we have no place to go. Let it snow. 
So like I mentioned, I am babysitting tonight and I wanted to show you what I am going to gift the little girl who I watch. I decided to go ahead and give her this storybook cosmetics eyeshadow palette because as much as I loved it, I think that she will just appreciate it so much more than I will. It's a bulky packaging, so it's not really something I need to hold on to. And I feel like I have all of these colors in other palettes. And then I'm giving her this Pure Cosmetics Masquerade palette, which also came in a boxy charm way back when. I don't personally like this palette very much, and I think it's like a really good palette for me to give to her because she can play around with it and have fun, but she's, she's um, in elementary school so she's not trying to like do her makeup or um, the quality of the products isn't as much as just the fun of playing around with them so I think she's someone who will actually appreciate it and then I went ahead and picked up some of these brushes because I didn't want to give her palettes and no brushes and this was like a cheap little kit from TJ Maxx and then of course I picked up some makeup wipes because um, I don't know about anyone else, but I was like traumatized as a kid when I would play around with makeup and they did not know how to wash it off and you know your blush is so strong and you have like powder all over your face and you're like not sure what to do. So I wanted to give some wipes so that she can quickly and easily wipe it off after she's done playing around with it, but I'm excited to see her reaction when I give her these things tonight. I am absolutely horrendous at wrapping presents, but here goes nothing. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? It's not roasting Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways Christmas. Okay, so I'm currently packing for my trip tomorrow and just for anyone who's curious, this is what I used to pack up all my makeup and it's nice because it has three different compartments plus a few little pouches so I can keep a lot of times I'll put like mascara, my eyebrow gel, primers, sometimes I'll even put like my lip stuff in the top one and then a lot of times I use this one for makeup brushes, today I put in my lip stuff in there and some just miscellaneous things, my eyeshadows, and then here's where I normally put a lot of my complexion products, like my beauty sponges, my blush, bronzer, foundation, setting sprays, stuff like that. So, and then what's nice is it folds up and it snaps in, and then it's just a really portable way to travel with my makeup. All right, you guys, well, I need to go edit this video and get it uploaded for you guys. Um, so even though it's only 1 p.m., I'm going to end the video here so that I can make sure that once I have my interview tonight and I'm babysitting and I get home, it's just not another thing I have to do by uploading this video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a comment, start some conversation, and I will see you guys tomorrow.